Hi, boys and girls. Welcome to the Community Arts Center class on the book-ish. My name is Jen. Everyone calls me Miss Jen, though. I'm Miss Jen, and I'm the Education Coordinator at the Community Arts Center, and I'm so glad you're here with us today. We're just going to hang out for a little bit and let everyone that's coming today kind of join in and get ready. So if you're here today, um, sign in on Facebook. Make sure your parents say who's here and your names and your ages. If you're a big person, you don't have to give me your age. But I'm really glad you're hanging out today because I love having the adults be with us also. It just makes things so much more fun. Now, I've realized my setup isn't quite right. My computer is too far away for me to reach, so I'm going to fix that. Fixy, fixy, fixy. My goodness, my lip just fell over. Let me fix that. Hi, Carol Douglas. Hi, Ann Kelly. Glad you were here to see what failure looks like. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear dear. And it's not a lamp I can just pick up. It has to be fixed special and screwed into my desk. I don't know how that happened. That was wild. All right. Whoo. There we go. <sighs> was crazy. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to finish fixing my computer over here since I fixed my lamp. Mm, there we go. Let me find this post. Load, 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 load. There we are. All right. Ah, now I think I'm ready. Carol says there are no mistakes, only happy accidents. Well, let me tell you, I don't know that that was a happy accident. But when mistakes happen, we can fix them. We can fix just about any mistake that we make in life. All right. I'm going to see who all's here right now. I'll be right back with you. All right, so Carol, right now it's just you and me, and I'm going to hang out for just a few more minutes, and we'll wait until 11.05, and then I'm going to start and do this even if you're the only one there, because <laughs> this is going to be on Facebook for other people to watch that maybe can't be with us right now. <sighs> Yesterday was a nice day. It was, there was some sunshine, and I know my dog did a lot of sunbathing yesterday. She's an old dog, and she loves to lay on a nice, warm sidewalk. And so she did that a lot. She wanted to go outside about every five minutes to hang out on the sidewalk, and then she's a basset hound and, you know, they have big noses and they can smell a lot of things. And so she liked to wander around the yard and find things to smell. Hi, Sherry. Glad you're here today. Hope that you can um, get some of the fun that we're doing to have fun with Eli next time you get to see him. And Stella is here today. 
Hi, Stacy. Thanks for getting Stella here for me. I always love spending time with her, even if I can't see her adorable face. Can't wait to have classes at the Art Center again to spend time with the kiddos. Um, Miss Laura, that does a lot of teaching for us at the Art Center, and I were talking the other day about how much we miss being with the kids. Uh, there's an energy and a level of love when you're hanging out with kids that um, is unbelievable. So it's 11.05 and that's what time I said we were going to get started. So the first thing that we're going to do today is maybe the hardest. Oh wait, but before I get started with the kids, parents, here are the things that we're going to be working on today. We're going to be working on instilling confidence in our kids. Uh, because so many times they hear the negative and they play it and play it and play it. And so we need to be teaching them how to um, create their own confidence. We're going to be working on that today using I can phrases. Um, doing a lot of fine motor skill work also because um, in, in the book, Ish is learning how to draw. And to be able to learn how to draw, we really have to have good control of our hands. So we're going to be working on some fine motor skills. Uh, we're going to be following, working on following directions. I know. Preschoolers following directions. Do they really need to learn that? Mm, maybe. <laughs> You're the parents. So um, we're going to be working on some beginning letter skills also. Shape recognition and the motor planning to create those shapes also. So throughout the lesson, I'll sprinkle in some of that terminology. So if there's things that you, you think your child needs to work with, then you'll understand some of the uh, processes to work on those skills. So now, hi kids, let's have fun, us, okay? Um, oh, Xander is here with us too. Yay! I'm so glad that Xander's here. Hi, Lauren. Thanks for bringing him. Um, so, the first thing we're going to do is make pom-pom flowers for our moms. Because this coming Sunday is Mother's Day. So, we can do this special thing. So, here's what we're going to need. Craft sticks. And if you have a colored one. Those are kind of fun too, but going to be using the plain ones. You're going to need a green marker and some pom poms and glue. All right, I'm going to put the camera down so we can work on my desk and have some fun together. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is, by the way, look, this hand is holding pom-poms. Miss Jen has a hand on my desk. Um, okay, sidetracked. So we're going to color this craft stick green because it's going to be the stem of our pom-pom flower. So, sit it down on the table. Make sure there's something under where you're drawing. So, if you go off the edge, like Miss Jen just did right there, then it doesn't get on the table. So, you might want to put a piece of paper under this. And don't forget to do the sides. That's really important. All right, and the back. Now, if you were in one of Miss Jen's class, we would put your name on this. But since you're at home, my guess is you'll remember that it's yours. But if you want to practice writing your name, you can get another a marker of a different color and put your name on the back. I'm just writing Miss Jen on mine. 
All right, let me bring this light down just a little bit. All right, so we have our stem of our flower all ready. And if you wrote your name on, that one goes on the back. So, are you ready for some glue? When I was little, I loved using glue, but my teachers always said, don't use too much glue, and um, we're going to be having a class on glue, and we're going to make fun projects using glue. That's in just a couple of weeks. Miss Ann has a fun book for us ready. All right, so we're going to be using our fingers to be very careful because we don't want a lot of glue on here or it won't stick good. So just a drop, not at the top, but down a little bit. And then I tried to pick up that one and it's glued down. Whatever color you want your the middle of your flower to be, stick it on there. You know, I changed my mind. I'm not going to use that big red one. I want the middle to be green. Oh, here. That'll be pretty. All right. Whoa, whoa, what just happened there? There was a little string on my pom-pom, and it pulled the whole stick up. That was silly. All right. So once you have your stick with your the center of your flower on, then... We're going to put a drop of glue just above it and another pom-pom and a drop of glue just below it for another pom-pom. Now this is kind of a crazy colored flower so far. It's dark blue and a light brown. I like lots of different colors on my flowers. Here's one I did earlier. I don't know if it's quite dry, so I'm being very careful. Can you be careful with your flower? Say, I can be careful. There you go. All right. This doesn't look like a flower, does it? These are all in a straight row. We're going to add some other pom-poms on. I have a purple pom-pom and I'm going to put the glue right on the pom-pom this time. Just a drop and I'm going to glue this onto my blue pom-pom and my green pom-pom. Now I'm going to take this pink pom-pom and I put glue on it and I'm going to glue it to the purple and the brown. Are you getting your pom-pom all done? I sure would like to see pictures of your of your pom-pom flowers when they're nice and dry. All right, now I'm gonna put some glue on another dark blue pom-pom. And I'm gonna glue it down here to the brown and the center green one. Let's see, oh, here's a yellow one. No, I want orange. Sometimes it's hard to choose colors. Oh, my friend Chris is here with us today. Hi, Chris. Thanks for hanging out with me for a little while. All right. And I put one more right in between those last ones. And I don't think I can pick this up. But I'm going to say that I can be patient and let the glue dry. Patient means I can wait. Boys and girls, can you wait? 
Let's say it together. I can wait. All right, I'm going to very carefully move my flower over here. And when it's dry, um, then you don't have to be so careful, but we have to wait for our glue to dry. That was a fun project. I really liked it. I, I like the way they turn out. Miss Jen did not color this stem, did I? I can do that later. I can fix it later. All right. Now, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to keep our glue and our pom-poms close by. And this hand is going to have to give up its pom-poms. Whoop! Drop. It still has a big orange pom-pom. There it goes. All right. I want to sort our pom-poms. I have a lot of pom-poms. Now, I could just pick these up with my fingers and that would be some good fine motor skills. This one's glued down. I could put all the red pom-poms together and that would be good using my fingers. And I can use my pinky and my thumb. Oh, that's hard for Miss Jen. I have a blue pom-pom. I'm picking up my blue pom-poms with my pinky and my thumb. Can you pick up pom-poms with your pinky and your thumb? Say, I can pick up pom-poms. Oh, sorting them. The blue ones are off camera. What's up with that? There's some more blue ones. All right, let's do the green ones with our thumb and our middle finger. Sort the green ones. But you know, we can sort things differently than just with our hands. We can sort things with race cars too. Push the green ones over, race car. Sometimes race cars need help from hands, too. And we can sort them other places. Oh, here's a red race car. Um, we can sort them other places than in big piles. I have a cardboard tube. I can put orange in the cardboard tube. Ooh. And then whoop, they can come back out. So I like sorting pom-poms. I think it's fun. I like to have fun with pom-poms. Um, because they're so pretty and they're lightweight and they just kind of fall around. So just keep sorting out your pom-poms and you can do it with one hand or two hands. Oh, I even have white pom-poms. Those look like little bunny tails, don't they? Oh, hey, these are brown. They got in with the yellow. I'm going to put the pink with red because pink and red are close to the same colors. And brown ones. Lots of different colors of brown ones. Oh, and here's black ones. And purple. All right. I like sorting pom-poms. That makes me happy. Now, we're going to do something else. 
Now I want you, I better drive the cars away. Don't hit the pom-poms. Okay. <clears throat> now we need our markers. I like to keep my markers in the box because then they're nice and organized for me. And when you use a marker, mm, be sure you put the lid back on, not just part of the way like this, but all the way until it snaps. When it snaps, then the marker is safe and they will last a long time. Here's something else. When you're, mar when you're drawing with a marker, don't press down hard with your fist or it mushes up the tip and then that tip is flat and you can't get a good line. So if we take care of our markers, then we can use them for a long time. Here's what I want you to do with the markers right now. Whatever color pom-poms you have, I want you to make some dots around on a piece of paper. Now, Miss Jen has a big piece of cardboard here so that it's easier for you guys to see. And let's see, what other colors do I have? I have green and I have red. I have a red marker. I'm going to make some red dots. Oh, my friend Kate is here with us. Good morning, Kate. And Jody is with us too. Hi, Renee. Oh, look, Gina, Lucas, and Evan are here with us. Hi, guys. Glad you're here. All right, making more dots, that's red dots, yellow. I don't know if you can see the yellow dots. Let me check my computer screen. It'll come up in just a minute. Oh good, we can see the yellow. Let's see, I have a couple of purples. And I have some black ones, too. Oh. All right. Now, we need to clear the pom-poms out of the way. Hmm. What can I use to clear the pom-poms? I'm going to use my toilet paper tube. I mean my cardboard tube and I'm going to use my Hot Wheels and the Hot Wheels are going to push the... Oh no, it doesn't work that way, does it? I may have to help the tube a little bit. Nope. We're just going to use the Hot Wheels. Vroom, vroom. Gentlemen, start your engines. Vroom. Moving them out of the way. Oh, I still have some that are glued on already. They don't move. Okay. Thank you, cars. You can drive away now. <sighs> now, I want you to take one of your markers and take the lid off. And... I'm sorry, I just had to say I wasn't taking a phone call. Wanted you to know why I kind of reached across there. I want you to take your marker and connect some of these dots. So this is fine motor and writing and drawing skills that we're working on. I'm going to touch this purple dot and draw a line to the green dot. And... You know, we live in Pennsylvania here, and if you have twisty, turny roads where you are, you know that there's not always 
straight lines to get from one place to another. So in Pennsylvania, we have curvy roads. So you can do straight lines or you can do twisty lines. You can do zigzag. Whatever kind of lines you want to make, connect some dots. And if you want to change colors of markers, you can do that too. Because we get to have fun with color in Miss Jen's classes. All right, I'm, I switched to orange. And... I'm bunny hopping around. Now I want to use purple. Hmm. This almost looks like a monster's head. And there's his mouth with his big teeth. Except I, he doesn't have any teeth in the lower part of his mouth. Hmm. Maybe he's a really old monster. All right. I want some brown now. Boop. I have to make sounds when I'm drawing lines. Hmm. And your lines can cross over if you want them to. Pink. I have a pink marker now. I went around. And I think I only have... One dot left. Uh-oh, I have a dot clear out here. And from over there. Hmm. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to get purple and come up here and down there. I connected all my dots. Wait a minute. There's a dot under that pom-pom. Hmm. There we go. Now all of my dots are connected. You don't have to connect all of your dots. I just like to. Would you like to get some glue again? I want to because I like glue. All right, let's get our bottle of glue and our pom-poms. And I want you to put a dot of glue, not a big puddle, just the dot, please, on each dot that you made. And whatever color that dot was, put that color pom-pom on the dot. Oh, this is fun. I like playing with glue and I like pom-poms, so this is just making me happy. You know what would make me happier? If I was sitting at a table with you making some fun crafts. I have lots of green dots. It's a good thing I have a lot of green pom-poms. Ooh, I'm going to put a big green one over here. It really does look like it's a monster's nose now. Hmm. Now, I have yellow. 
I'm going to do my yellow dots, my yellow pom-poms on my yellow dot. Here's another one. So parents, if you're going to be out for any reason, in a, you might want to buy some glue because, like I said, in a couple weeks we're going to be doing uh, a lesson based on the book called Too Much Glue. And I'm going to come up with several projects to do using glue. So it's going to be fun and probably pretty messy. Because glue can get messy, but we will make really cool things with that glue. Oh, I like this. Hmm. Oh, there's a black dot and another black dot that I didn't see. Is everyone filling up your paper that has colored dots on it with pom-poms? Now I'm doing purple. Some people really like purple, but purple is not my favorite color. My favorite color is blue. Do you have a favorite color? You know, I have to say, I have two favorite colors. One is blue, and the other is called magenta. And it's this bright, bright pink. I like magenta. And when you mix magenta and blue together, you get pretty purples. Oh. I just found another purple dot and I have this very light colored purple pom-pom I can put on it. And that's my last dot. So we learned about sorting colors in a lot of different ways. We used cars and we used cardboard tubes and we used different fingers. And we had a lot of fun. So we had fine motor skill and sorting and sorting in different ways. So it's not just colors, it's matching. And we've had so much fun. Now we have another thing to do. And I'm gonna bring the camera back up so you can see my face. And we're gonna let this glue dry a little bit. Hi everyone. So, I want to do some songs where we use our fingers. And for parents, we're increasing the skill level with the different songs that we sing. We're going to start out using full hand. Then we're going to use, we're going to do Itsy Bitsy Spider and use multiple fingers. And then we're going to do um, Where is Stumpkin, which is isolating. So moving each finger apart from all the others. So, first song we're going to do is Open Shut Them. And when I taught preschool, this is what we did every day to get ready for snack time and lunch time. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them. Them, open, shut them, lay them in your lap, lap, lap. Let's do that again. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Lay them in your lap, lap, lap. Very good. I hope some of you sing along with me. The next song we're going to do is the Itsy Bitsy Spider. I'll 
bet everybody knows that. So the itsy bitsy spider, if you can't do your fingers this way, then you can do this way. All right. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Up came the sun and dried up all the rain and the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. I sang that very fast. Let's slow it down just a little bit. And somebody else just tried to call me. My phone, nobody calls until I'm busy and then everybody decides to call. This is so funny. So let's slow this down. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Up came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Nicely done. Okay, the next song is where is Thumpkin? And we're going to use each of our fingers. Thumpkin, Pointer, Tall Man, Ring Man, and Pinky. Ring Man is very hard to do. Let's sing. Where is Thumpkin? Where is Thumpkin? Here I am. Here I am. How are you today, sir? Very fine, I say, sir. Run and play. Run and play. Where is Pointer? Where is Pointer? Here I am. Here I am. How are you today, sir? Very fine, I say, sir. Run and play. Run and play. Where is Tall Man? Where is Tall Man? Here I am. Here I am. How are you today, sir? Very fine, I say, sir. Run and play, run and play. Where is Ring Man? Where is Ring Man? Here I am, here I am. How are you today, sir? Very fine, I say, sir. Run and play, run and play. Now, we're going to be very quiet because Pinky's a little shy, okay? So we'll be quiet to not scare Pinky. Where is Pinky? Where is Pinky? Here I am. Here I am. How are you today, sir? Very fine, I say, sir. Run and play. Run and play. Now really loud. Where is everyone? Where is everyone? Here I am. Here I am. How are you today, sir? Very fine, I say, sir. Run and play. Run and play. Oh, I love that song. Thanks for singing it with me. That's been one of my favorite songs for a long, long time. Oh, all right. I want everybody to reach your hands. You can't see my hands up high, but reach your hands up really high and shake and shake and shake them. Put them out to your side. Shake them, shake them, shake them. And then I want you to pat your lap. Okay, that was fun. Now, what I want to do is read you a book. You guys have done so good. You have practiced following directions with all of our songs, open, shut them. You did what I did that was really good. And so you need to say, I can follow directions. I can follow directions. Good job. All right. So this book, when I hold it up, the words are going to be backwards because of the way my camera is. So I want you to focus on the picture, not on the words. It is called, Can You See? Can you see Daisy Doll by the Daffodils? Yes, I can see Daisy Doll. Say yes, I can see Daisy Doll.
Can you see Daisy Doll by the dragon? Say yes, I can see Daisy Doll. <gasps> can you see Daisy Doll by the desk? Say yes, I can see Daisy Doll. This is an easy book. Can you see Daisy Doll by the d ducks? Yes, I can see Daisy Doll by the ducks. Look at all those ducks. Let's count those ducks. One, two, three, four, five, six. <gasps> One, two, three, four, five. Daisy Doll is by six ducks. Wow! Can you see Daisy Doll by the dog house? Yes, I can see Daisy Doll. That dog is a Dalmatian. This book is brought to you by the letter D. D sounds like D, D, D. Can you see Daisy Doll by the door? There's the door. Where's Daisy Doll? There she is. Yes. I can see Daisy Doll. Oh my. These. Can you see Daisy Doll by the dandelions? Dandelions are pretty yellow flowers that people that want pretty lawns try to get rid of. Can you see Daisy Doll by the dandelions? Yes, I see Daisy Doll everywhere. Is a dragon a real animal? We saw a dragon. I don't think dragons are real animals. I think they're make-believe. What is a daffodil? Here they are. They are flowers. All right, we have some very cool I can things. We found Daisy Doll on every page in this book. You guys are so awesome. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is find shapes. I have some easy shapes and I have some shapes that are a little harder. What shape is this? It's a circle. It's a yellow circle. That one is easy. This one's pretty easy too. What shape is this? It's a square. Good job. It's a square. And it's a green square. This one's a little harder, but I think you can get it. What shape? It's a triangle. It has three sides. Triangle. A red triangle. This is a rectangle. 
it's longer on one side than the other. So it's not a square. It's a rectangle. Here's a hard one, but I think most of you will know it. It's an octagon. We see a lot of octagons when we're out driving with mom and dad. And there's stop signs. Octagon means there's eight sides. We are going to make some of these shapes. So I'm going to bring the camera down so you can see my desk. That's all covered in pom-poms and lines. This is funny. Look at all of that. Okay. I'm going to move some of my pom-poms out of the way. Now I have a plain brown desk and craft sticks. Now we're not going to make anything that has to stay together. We're just going to make some shapes. So let's start easy. Let's make a square. So we take one craft stick. And a second craft stick. And then a third craft stick. And a fourth stick. There's a square. Good job. Now, let's make a triangle. Remember, the triangle has three sides. One, two, three. There's a triangle. How easy is that? You guys are awesome. All right. Now, oh, let's do this rectangle. Hmm, one stick, two sticks. When we made the square, we just put one stick in between, but it's too big. Let's move this over. <gasps> there, we needed one, two sticks. Let's do the same down here. One, two. It's a rectangle. It's longer on one side than on the other. Being able to find shapes is really important when you're an artist. Let's see, oh, let's see if we can make a circle. This might take all of Miss Jen's craft sticks, but we're going to see if we can do it. I'm going to lay them kind of not end to end. Somehow, there's cat fur on my desk. Those kitties like to get up on my desk. Art Kitty has not come to visit us today. I don't have water up here. If I had water on my desk, she would be up trying to drink it. This is almost a circle. Okay, I just have to be honest with all of you boys and girls. That song, Open, Shut Them, Open, Shut Them, is stuck in my head. So while I'm talking to you, my brain is saying, open, shut them, open. Do you have songs that do that to your brain sometimes? Oh, I have lots of songs that do that to me. So we have a circle. All right. The last shape we're going to do is that octagon. Do you remember how many sides are on the octagon? There are eight 
sides on the octagon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight sides on an octagon. Oh, oh dear. So, boys and girls, if you have some craft sticks, you can practice making shapes and then take them apart and make a different shape. It's like a puzzle. <clears throat> All right. So today we made pom-pom flowers for our mothers for Mother's Day. And I have three of them. One, two, three. We also sorted pom-poms, we drew lines, and we made a silly looking picture. But you know what? I think I might hang this on my wall because I kind of like it. We played with pom-poms several ways. We talked about using our fingers and we sang songs and we read the book about finding Daisy Doll in a lot of different places. I'm so glad you were here with me today. My name is Jen and I'm with the Community Arts Center in Johnstown, Pennsylvania. And I am so glad you were here with us. Stay safe, be kind, and God bless.